Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the busy roads of Cry and Hard Rock Apocalypse. So, a few things have happened since the last episode, as you can probably tell, considering we're in a different location altogether. And we are now proud owner of a Scorpio cabin. Not only that, but um, we also now ha have uh, 100 and uh, 4,500, I should say, credits in our possession, and I even repaired the goddamn PKT because it kept bugging me that I should be re should repair that. And guess what I did? Uh, besides besides that, I spent some time driving around the location. I didn't even have to purchase anything really. I just uh, kept killing bandits that which uh, who ki kept attacking me didn't really find anything in particular that uh, deserved to be captured on camera, but uh, there are a few transfers between locations, couldn't uh, access any of those, the game just basically turned me around. We, have, we now have a location called The Hat, a location called Fatherland, Vaterland? I'm not sure, as well as Ridzen. Uh, besides that, I spent some time driving around, didn't really find anything. Uh, besides this little place right here, if you remember in the last episode, as we were going through, uh, from the Inca to south, I noticed a little path down here. So I uh, went out of my way and uh, drove down here, and there was that, like a little shack there, without really anything else. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this might be the hideout of... Uh, a bandit named Felix. Who are we uh, currently looking for? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I did. Uh, besides that, I also took some time to read through the encyclopedia, and uh, it has a few interesting um, categories here. Uh, the obvious one are uh, vehicles. There's also vehicle parts, and. Uh, this literally lists every single body uh, and uh, cabins which you've encountered, which is useful, as well as weapons, which does basically the same thing. Uh, same goes for gadgets, but there's also a section called affix, affixes, or I'm not sure how you call that, and it straight up tells you what uh, the modifiers for weapons and uh, uh, truck parts do. And I found, I found this really helpful. Even though there are a, a couple uh, useless uh, ones which are seemingly the same but also not. So you know. But it's nice to have them. And there's some general information like merchandise, clans, as well as quest items. Pretty much, you know, it's pretty much all there was. Uh, as far as books go, there's this uh, this little uh, entry which describes the mask that everybody's wearing. In case you weren't aware, those creepy uh, gray faces that everyone has are not ex actually faces, they're just masks that everybody's wearing because uh, a single breath of, uh, of, of uh, the world's air would kill even the strongest, biggest person. <laughs> so there you go, a little bit of lore here. Uh, for yeah, but I think we're pretty much prepared to proceed with the main quest. I don't think that there's anything left for left for us in Cry besides the main quest. So I am pretty eager to move on. So let's see what South has in store for us. Let's refuel real quick. And I'll talk to you uh, about differences uh, that these uh, truck parts uh, made for me as we're driving towards our next destination. Okay, trucker, this guy's new. What's wrong? You look awful. God is burned down. Everybody's dead. My father. That's terrible. Who could have done this? No gang passed through south. Would have noticed. And they came another way. Then I must find them and avenge my father. Calm down. Having enough power to destroy the defense of the village, they will easily kill you. 
Think twice before talking like this, or murderers! They will pay. They will pay. I'm Batman. <laughs> so I guess this is my super <laughs> superhero origin story or something. I hate the Raiders too, but how can you find them? There seem to be no witness to the crime. Come to think of it, I know the name of the murderer. It can only be Felix, of course. The raging murder burner must be satisfied. Felix is a dangerous man. However, you don't care, as I can see. Well, he resides in a small, well-defended village. A base, I would say. Now, no, for sure it was him and his get How? I'm not sure how that... How the information the Strucker told us made it any different, but whatever. Actually, we had a truce of a kind with him. We pay him and he does not harm our villages. Well, now the treaty is broken. I've already met him on the battlefield and won. Now they're... You are going to attack their lair, but well, I also want to get rid of this, Felix, so I will help you! Hell yeah! You're gonna need a better weapon. Go to Troisk and talk to the barman, he owes me something. Hell to the yes! Although I do get a feeling uh, that we might be just getting another PKT here. But hey, let's not uh, get too far ahead of ourselves, shall we? Okay. So I think it's told us to go to... Did he tell us to go to Troitsk? No. Hmm. All right. Not sure what to do is with that. So you can, as you can see already, we are zooming uh, towards our destination because this cabin, the cabin with, uh, uh, that I currently have, has much better top speed, as in much, much better. Whoa, easy there, fellas. The uh, obvious disadvantage, of course, being the fact that we cannot shoot backwards. And, uh, might be somewhat of a hindrance for us, but... What a, look out where, where are you going, mister? But I'm sure we'll uh, figure it out. Another interesting thing that I found out... Uh, is the fact that apparently uh, the game's uh, the, the way a game treats uh, difficulty is that it scales bandits up to your truck level. So after I bought this fancy Scorpio cabin, I started uh, encountering lorries, which is the next level of the truck we're going to be aiming for. Um, out on, on the battlefield, and that is one mean machine, let me tell you that. It's no dozer, obviously, but it's still quite uh, threatening. And if uh, it wasn't armed with basically a hornet, it would be uh, a serious, uh, serious problem for me. Okay. Uh, let's talk to the trader first. No, no side quest for me. Barman Mugen. Oh, he looks cool. Want something to drink, young man? The barman of South sent me to... I'm not sure it was the barman. It was... His name was Trucker, but whatever. So he sent me to get something from you. You know what, what I mean. Of course I know. Take it. It is in perfect state. Thanks a lot, and I will hunt Felix down. So what did we get? Ooh, okay. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um. All right. So this this thing does a shit ton of damage. Although it only has a single, uh, it's single shot, and terrible accuracy and uh, range. But hey, I am very intrigued to test this thing. Out. And yes, I was correct. This little village down there is, in fact, where we're gonna be uh, going. So yeah, you guys did not miss too much. Just, uh, well, literally, for about 40 minutes of me driving around, picking up wooden potatoes, selling them in different cities, shooting up bandits, and uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, nothing too major. I'll probably do these uh, excursions off-camera in uh, different areas. Oh, 
Uh, speaking of which, let me take a look at the map here. One thing that I, uh, I don't think that I ever done uh, on camera anyway is take is taking a look at the global map, which tells us that we are currently in Europe. At least I, it, this looks like Europe roughly. I'm I'm not sure. I mean that's a very generalized <laughs> uh, view of uh, Europe, but hey. I think that's what it, what is implied. The world did uh, suffer a, a, a well, basic, basically a nuclear nuclear uh, nuclear apocalypse. So you uh, can expect the landscape to change somewhat. So let's equip the shotgun. And it is indeed single shot. Okay. Let's see how this plays out. I will avenge my father's death. Yep, the raging murderborner must be satisfied. Yeah, this guy had nothing to do with with it. Positive. Shoot, please! I'm begging you. Okay, this is not going very well. Yeah, this is much better. There we are. Come out and fight like a man. If you want something to be done properly, do it yourself. Let me deal with it. All right. Can't hear what you can see. Felix. No. Oh. There you are. Your crimes, murderer. Wait. I haven't killed people for years. We have a deal with locals. You are the one who's attacking my yep. fellows. Yep. Well, that was obvious. In fact, I'm not even you Felix my at all. My name is Revolutionary Ed. Easy. You're from Gluckholm. Believe me, that was not our gang. Some crazy outlander did it. Okay, that's interesting. You lie. I swear on my mother's tomb. Ask your girlfriend. She saw it all. What? Girlfriend? Who? You mean Alice? How can you know? Whoa, she okay. She visited our camp on her way north to Pest. She was scared like hell. Let's see. I will follow her. You're free to go, Felix, but never come back here. All right. Well, this is taking an interesting turn. So I'm. Um, Ellis is uh, wrapped up pretty tightly in the story, I think. This time you won, but we'll meet again when I will be better prepared. Oh, bugger off, Felix! You should. You should really be dead right now. So yeah, this shotgun it didn't do us a whole lot of good. I am gonna keep it though, just in case. So, what's our objective? Overtake Alice in the North. So yeah, Felix seems to be innocent of killing my father, my only trait is Alice, she is the witness of the crime, looking for for her in Pest. So yeah, we're gonna go north to Fatherland, to Fatherland. <laughs> and now I think is uh, as good of a time as any to mention that um, this game, well, somebody did not have a nice day just now. Yes, this game uh, is prone to crashing on uh, loading different areas. We seem to be doing all right uh, inside uh, inside the location, 
but there is a very serious possibility that we will straight up crash as we uh, travel over to the next to the next one. So if you see a cut suddenly, don't be surprised. That's just uh, you know the good old hot truck apocalypse crashing on me, me stitching things together. Ever heard of? Freaking traffic rules, traffic laws, dude. All right, man, we're pretty beat up. Let's fix some stuff up. Man, they damaged my stupid PKT even more. God damn it. At least I'll get some money back from selling all these hornets. You can see how many bandits I've killed from all this, these hornets in, the, in their inventory. That's pretty funny. Um, trucker. Well, any good news? Felix won't trouble you anymore. Hey, he ran like a dog. Thank you for receiving, for leaving that for this gang. And think it's money as a sign of our gratitude. You can also leave my weapon. Hope it will serve you better than me. I mean, I guess he means I can take it with me. Farewell, good man. I will remember your kindness. Uh, I think that was like 300 credits. So hey, I'm glad I talked to him. Pretty much covered my repairs. Um, yeah, so... And you can see our old uh, uh, body and cabin here. Uh, they remain in the inventory of the shop, which is handy, you can buy them back. If you want. Uh, yeah. Oh, 250. That's alright. That's alright. So, with this said and done, we are now headed finally towards our next location, which is Fatherland. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna just call it Fatherland. I don't care. The pronunciation with the V's will never... I'm, I'm never gonna get used to it. So you better get used to me calling it Fatherland. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot you from here, if you don't mind. Yep. Fine. Fine with me. No, your ass is grass, mister. Here we are. Got some wood. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Oh, there was uh, this little turret set up over here, which I destroyed. Just in case you're wondering what this uh, little fortification is about. Oh, what the hell? Okay. That was a little cheap. Fine. Uh, well, I mean, can I grab that before? There we go. Some potatoes and a spectre. So, uh, let's let's do a hard save. We're gonna call it before Bay Four. Okay. This is embarrassing. <laughs> before uh, Fatherland. There we go. So, uh, let's just cross our fingers and traverse the line. And uh, I will see you in a moment. Look at that! We did not crash and we have made it to a new location. It's pretty gloom, to be honest, but uh, I guess it's nighttime. So take, let's take a look at the map. We are going towards Pest, 
which is uh, bridged, bridge down, interesting. And the crossroads of the major trade roads is the only place in the world where the trucks must must pay a fair. Uh oh, many factions plan to conquer it, but so far no one succeeded. Man, it's nice to be out of the how do you call it? Out of the baby box. <laughs> baby, I, I don't know, baby box. Sure. <laughs> Drake. Looks like a lame hammer. Lame hammer, if you ask me. Died like a bitch. There we go. Yeah, and this location seems a little bit uh, bigger than Cry. But I'm quite eager to figure out what lies in store for us. Now that we've made uh, made it out of uh, the tutorial area, you can call it that. Let's get some repairs over here. And uh, yeah, we can't sell any. Cannot sell anything. Well, I wonder where this road goes. Yeah, gonna have to go uh, down there. Figure out, figure it out at some point. Just make uh, make mental notes, everybody. These are all places that we're gonna be visiting eventually. But right now, the plan is to go to Pest and uh, pretty much get our sea legs. If you can call it that. Just uh, pick up some side quests, you know the ordeal. Uh, maybe take a look at the merchandise. Uh, examine what kinds of... Uh, maybe they have a new truck for sale. That would be nice. Because uh, we've pretty much, I think, uh, reached the full potential of uh, the van with these uh, cabins and bodies. Which we purchased. Okay, so is this the fabled bridge town? Because it doesn't look like much, let me tell you that. Not quite what I imagined it looking like. Uh, maybe that's not exactly it. Let's take this right here. Oh. Oh, there we go. There's a, bar there's a barricade here. Ah, that's more like it. This looks like a city. Okay. TA. So what's this faction about? Oh, don't crash. Come on. There we go. Hello. You guys got anything to say? Nope. This is no Star Wars canteen, but it's pretty good on its own. I'm digging it. Let's sell our potatoes, sell the Spectre, I guess. Oh man, this the storm sells for, for a, a lot of money. Oh, look at this! Oh yeah, we're we're in it now. Vulcan rain metal, rain metal with laser sights, missile launchers. You can see the potential there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now what I'm really interested in. Yes! They have a lorry! And we can probably buy it if we wanted to. Hell to the yes. Uh Yeah, these are the cabins and bodies. Which uh relate to our van. 
Yeah, that doesn't. Oh man. I might just straight up buy a lorry right now. So let's compare. The armor is very close, right off the bat. A lot more health, a bit more fuel uh, capacity, much larger body space. Speed, speed is comparable, engine power, same. A little lighter, control, doesn't matter. Uh, and what about... Yeah. I'm gonna straight up buy the slurry right now. Let's pick a color first. Red or maybe maybe green. Ah, you know, red ones go faster and all that. Um, sure. Transfer all. Oh, this is gonna cost a lot of money. Ah. Do I really want to invest in this? Tell you what, the storm gun doesn't seem doesn't seem too great, so I'm gonna just straight up sell it, and uh, this is gonna go towards our uh, this is gonna go towards our savings. Yeah. Yep. There we go. A new truck right away now let's take a look at what kinds of cabins and bodies they have okay so we have currently a boat and a tent there's a generator <laughs> look at this thing oh, I don't imagine it has a lot of uh, space really it has more body space than a tent are you kidding me this is silly uh, there's a, just a box. Okay, so the box seems to be the high-end uh, body for... Yeah, seems to be the high-end body for the lorry. Man, that's a lot of money. Okay. What about the cabin? There's vault, there's a whirlpool, which is basically just an armored vault, from what I can see. And there's also thorn. Oh, look at this thing. Does it have a gun slot on the front? Oh my god, it does. Yep, this looks, this looks badass. Like a metal deer. <laughs> Oh, oh baby! All right, we're we're stuck with a default lorry for now, for the time being. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. So, bar pest. Talk to me, worker Bruce. Any news? Everything is a okay. Okay, fine, fine. Resident Arnie or Dreary Maxim? Uh, let's talk to Maxim first. Wanna spice up your life, earn some money, or simply have a nice time? The amusement center is for you! Wanna know more? Sure. The amusement center is a place where long distance drives, drivers go to get quality entertainment for their money. Alright, let me show it on your map. It's right there. I hope the center is as good as they say. Okay. Sounds fishy, but we'll check it out. Resident Army. State your business. I'm looking for a girl named Alice. She's of average height, good looking, and is driving a truck of unusual design and color. Is she a friend of yours? No, but she has some information I really need. I know the girl. I wouldn't get involved with her if I were you. Why so? There are dangerous people behind her. I mean, myself included. Uh, cut the crap, tell me what you know. She often comes here on some business of her own. Last time I saw her, she was heading east. I would recommend you going in that direction. Man, are you paranoid or what? Do you, want, do you see danger everywhere? There's a bandit's base there. It's large and well fortified. Bandits won't negotiate other than in the language of guns. Are you strong enough for that? I'm not so sure. I guess I'll have to go. If there's no other way. See ya. Okay. Uh, 
that's the amusement park. Area 51, straight up Area 51, okay. Conservation weapons are buried in the basement of this ancient military base. Interesting. So that's the, amu the amusement park. Uh, and I guess we're gonna be heading towards that next, because I'm not really feeling like uh, mainlining for now. Uh, I do not wish to cross the bridge. Okay, here we are. Our new truck. Here it is, the lorry. It's pretty fast and agile. And these are also the trucks uh, which start spawning once you uh, max out your van. We're driving one of them. Nice. A new truck. Progress. Fantastic. Uh, quick save. So, I think this is gonna do it for today's episode. We had uh, what you can probably classify as a boss fight of sorts. Uh, we made it to a new location. Didn't crash along the way, which is fantastic in my book. And we even got a new truck. So, all is well in the world. In the next episode, we're probably gonna tackle uh, this little amusement park, the entertainment center. Yep, just a paradise, let's check it out. So yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, might even uh, just check out this general area right here. Maybe, you know, maybe go... Hmm, maybe go west. See what's in store for us there. Because I wanna find some more cities and... Uh, pick up some side quests, do some stuff, because uh, now that we have a, a new truck, we are once again tasked with upgrading it to the highest capacity, which is gonna require, uh, I think, about 24 grand, so yeah, there's a long road ahead of us, but we are well equipped to tackle it, but for now, this is it, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you tomorrow with some more Hard Truck Apocalypse. Take care.